When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand, stand by me Stand by me I support the aspirations of the National Training Service because the intention is to create a standardised level of health care, health provision and a quality that is the same whether you're accessing a health provider in Kaitaia or Dunedin. The idea is that our people are entitled to the same level of care no matter where they go. Sure there'll be some differences. But the idea is that quality has to be the same, it has to be standardised. We have to set a bar that's high and say that is what we want to achieve and we don't want pockets of quality and pockets of poor quality. We want a broad, a blanket of quality of services across the country. It is critically important that our level of care, our provision of care is at the upper end of, of the spectrum. We're aiming for excellence. We can't settle with mediocrity when we're dealing with patients that have, have significant and disproportionate levels of disease. We want to aim for Māori patients to be able to access health providers that say we are only prepared to offer you the best. We as an, an audience of health providers and health care, health workers or even our patients and our people can say we, we're not capable of it. We have to leave it for those that are, that are supremely uh, uh, knowledgeable and experts in this area. Well the reality is a lot of our people are experts. A lot of those people that, are, that don't have clinical qualifications are experts because of the way they communicate with our people, the way they know our people, their connections in the community. I believe that if you take those people and you tag to those people's skills, their kitia pukinga, um, some clinical knowledge that is of a high standard that we can put our hand on our heart and say this person has the skills, the qualifications to deliver this level of health care. You tag that to their inherent skills, their pukinga, then you have the perfect health care provider. If we give people a little bit of clinical knowledge and a lot of support and, some, and a high standard of education and, and, and training, they have those skills that will result in supreme outcomes for our people. There is a challenge to this for everyone who's watching this, and that is that um, a lot of what I see is that we have people that have been working in this health system for a long time, and in some ways I'd like to come along there, take you out of that health system, brainwash you and wipe everything from your memory and say, let's start again a little bit. Because to be honest, there's a lot of deconstructing that needs to go on with some of our people that are working in the health force, workforce. And I don't blame any of you or myself for that. We've come through a system which has taught us one way, but to be honest, the, the way needs to change. And um, so those that are sitting out there and thinking, hey look, I've always done what I've always done and it's worked for me and it's been safe and comfortable, I have to challenge you and say, we can't keep thinking like that because the same old, same old, approach is going to result in the same old outcomes. I'm not perhaps content with just relying fully on a kaupapa Māori approach but doesn't have any clinical or quality base. We need to blend really two important pukinga to achieve optimal outcomes for our people. And I'm sorry it's not just going to someone's home and having a cup of tea and having a cordial and, and saying hey, things will get better, or, or this, or that. It's actually, yes, using those skills, going into those homes, having that all, but then being able to offer that quality service. Now, I do think 
that has not happened and we haven't served our people as well as we could. And I don't blame you and I don't blame myself. I carry no guilt for the fact that we are a product of a system that we've been trained in, we've worked in for a long time. So this is a challenge. This is, we need to look at doing things differently. So Apina Nangata had it nailed when he said, take to your hands the tools of the new world, the Pākehā world, and keep in your heart the teachings of our tūpuna so that we'll stand strong in this changing world. And his words then are as true today as they were when he signed them in that book of his friend's uh, daughter. That is that we have to have those skills, the skills of the new world, the clinical skills, quality control, evidence-based practice. We have to not let go of our tikanga, whatever that may be, tikanga Māori, tikanga hamorani, to ensure that we are cultural clinical champions for our people. E tipu e rea mo ngā rāo to ao, ki ngā ringa ringa ngā rāka o te pākeha hei auranga mo to tīnana, ko tō ngākau ki ngā tāngo o tūpuna hei tiki tiki mo to mahunga, ko tō wairua ki tō atua, nāna nei ngā mea katoa.